and welcome back to my channel. So I just thought I would do a quick little video for you guys because I'm just washing a load of my fossils and I was thinking some of you may want to see what I'm up to. So these are just ones that I've left soaking overnight so they're pretty much clean of any mud. Some might need a bit of further prep but I just thought I would share. So I'm going to flip my camera around so you guys can see what I've done already and then I'll show you what I've got. But these are some of the ammonites I've already taken out of the bowl over here so you can see there's loads of random stuff in there. So there are some bigger ones, most of these little ones maybe minus this one just because I've taken a fancy to this one, it's just so perfect, I love it. So most of these are going to go in my fossil jars. These are my current fossil jars, so as you can see I've got one mainly for ammonites, one for belemnites, and then I have a kind of like a pot of other bits and bobs. So once I get enough of maybe brachiopods or bivalves, they can have their own pot. But for now, I seem to just find an abundance of belemnites and ammonites. So these are mainly like the fragmented bits. So you can have a peek in. And I just think, I think they look kind of intriguing in a jar. So that's why I'm doing that. So yeah, once these ones are dried, and there's also some dried ones over here. So these are the ones I prepped with vinegar um, in a Fossil Friday, I think last week. So you guys might have seen those. So this was the ammonite that I low-key sacrificed as you can see the center has been unfortunately either dissolved or may or may not have been there. But yeah, some of these bigger ones might be too big for the jars. So I might have to get a bigger fossil jar, but let's take some more out. So I am filming this video on my phone, so I apologize if the sound and video quality is really low, but it was just kind of a lot more easy to just grab my phone than my camera, so I apologize about that. But I thought it'd be fun to give you guys a little update. So I'm gonna take some more out. So I've got, this one's quite a weathered one. Um, so it just looks like this. So you can't see much detailing, but you know it's an ammonite. So ones like that are perfect for my jar. So there is a really big one in here that I'd actually like, I'll take it out now actually, I'll get some paper towels ready. I um, don't know what to do with it. It's in need of like prep, it's not quite right, but it's a really nice big one. But I think it might be too difficult to prep. Let me give it a shake so you guys can see it. So this is what it looks like. So you can see the ribbing really well all around it. And you can see the chambers down the base as well. I don't know if it's showing on my camera, you can kind of see it there. It looks clearer in person, I think, but I'll see the footage in a minute. Um, so this is what it looks like, but obviously the middle, it's really cemented in with its matrix. So I don't know if it's gonna be possible to prep it or whether it's kind of a lost cause, this one. So let me know if you have any advice on how I can prep the middle. It might be that. I just go at it with a nail, but I think it might need might need some proper air tools maybe, so we will see. And then I've just got loads of little ones I think left. So again, ones like this, they're just, they're cute little ammonites, but they're not, they're not perfect enough to make it to my cabinet, so that's why I've started these jars, just to kind of have them on display still, but not take up too much room. So this one's kind of a bit of a deformed piece I found. So we can dry that one. Dun, dun. So some of these ones I found in a field. So you can see this one, if the quality picks it up, it's kind of got like green all over it. I don't know if that comes through. I think this one's got some lovely colour to it, the middle of it. Again, I don't know if it's actually sh picking up the colours. I should have got my camera, I apologise. <laughs> but it's this lovely piece. The middle is really lovely on this one. What else is in my tub? So we've just got some nice fragment ones where they're not like whole, but they're still too lovely to leave, so they'll go in my tub. And then the cutest little ones. I, I love it when it's kind of, it's still got its centre, but it's still missing a chunk. I just think that must be so delicate, that centre, and it's still, still there. And look at this tiny one. So cute. Mm. Yeah, so there's some just that are lacking a little bit of detail. 
like that. And I am actually wearing an ammonite. How nice is that bracelet? Love it. <laughs> and then I've got this one. It's kind of cool. It's just like a jigsaw piece, isn't it? I like it. Oh, this is a lovely, a lovely one. You've got really nice detailing on that one. Right there. So there is one bellum knife. <laughs> this seems to be mainly ammonites, this bucket. But look, there is one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take them all out, lay them all on paper, and then I'll show you the finished thing. Okay, so here is everything that I have washed. So there's some really lovely little ammonites that has come out of this. I love this one. Look how perfect the middle is. I just think that's so cool. And I think this one's really lovely as well. So a few of these will go in my cabinets, I think, just because there are some really, really lovely ones. And then all the fragments will go in the jars. So this is what we've got from this batch and the bigger ones I think this is quite a nice one that I might keep this one does have a mahusive hole in it so probably more of a jar on that one even though it is on the bigger side and then we've got some bellum knights as well and then this is the big one that if you guys have any advice for the middle on it what you would do let me know but it's got really lovely ribbing on it. So this is a Harposerus ammonite I found quite a while ago now, actually. And I really love that it's, you know, it's all there. It's just not quite right in the middle. So let me know what you would do. But that's what it looks like at the moment. So, yeah. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this little video just of me washing fossils, basically. I just thought I would update you on where I am with everything. Um, so I have, I've ordered some stuff to coat my bellum knights with and also some glue to glue my fossils together. So thank you for all your recommendations. They were really super helpful. Um, so I'll do videos as and when those arrive and giving it a go on my fossils. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I'll link my social media down below if you'd like to check that out. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.